Hi you guys. First off, you will need your soft measuring tape so you can take your measurements. You will need the measure from the top of your ears down through your nape area where your elastic band will lay to the top part of your other ear. Please make sure that your measurement starts right at the top of your ear and not to go past your earlobe towards your hairline or too, back, too far back behind your earlobe. As you can see now, I'm making sure my tape is laying flat and that everything is positioned correctly. Once you have your placement correct, just hold your finger on your measurement as you see me doing now so you don't lose track of it. Now that that's done, it's time to get the elastic band ready to cut. The whole purpose of an elastic band is for extra security and to help your, lay la your lace lay flatter, so we don't want to cut the elastic band with our original head measurement. Instead, we will subtract one inch and cut there. So since my measurement was nine and a half, we will cut it down to eight and a half. All I'm doing now is measuring the tape, then folding it at eight and a half inches, and then cutting it. I find that cutting it an inch shorter makes it tight enough to do its job and not give me a tension headache. Okay, so this is the frontal unit I will be adding the elastic band on today. Yes, I made her myself and I make custom wigs. So if you are interested, I will leave the link in the bio to check out, for you to check out. In this next step, I'm about to show you a little trick to help prevent you from sewing the elastic band in the wrong spot. I know a lot of people's biggest problem is the band being in an uncomfortable spot or being positioned in a way that it doesn't help most of your frontal lay flat. All I do is put on the wig and take some of my tailor's chalk or you can use whatever you have available like white eyeliner. And you'll need to do and all you need to do is draw a line right above the top of your ears where the measurement was pre previously taken from the elastic band. The line doesn't have to be perfect. It will just act as a guide when sewing. Now in this last step, you will need your needle and thread, your scissors, and of course the elastic band you previously measured and cut. We will now use the marks we made as a general guide where to place our elastic bands. Please do not directly place the elastic band on the line you made and start sewing because the direction of the band is going downwards which may cause your frontal to lay weird. Okay, sis, let me explain. You want the band to be in line with your nape. So in this case, since this is a mesh dome cap, I will simply line up the elastic band that I just measured and cut with the band that's already part of the wig cap. And that's when I'll use the mark I made as a placement guide before sewing. Once you got your elastic band positioned, you can proceed with sewing. Please be careful while sewing, you don't want to tear your lace. Now on to the next side. You're pretty much doing the same thing you just did on the other side. Line everything up with the uh, band part of the wig lined up to the mark you made with the tailor's chalk and you will begin to sew. Okay now so everything is sewn and I'm just showing you the elastic band being in line with the nape area. Okay, so now I'm going to try the wig on to make sure everything fits like I want it to and also to show y'all the results. I can tell immediately from putting the wig on that the frontal part at the top of my hairline fit more snug and helped it lay flatter. However, as you can see, the flaps are still flapping, but that's expected because the wig, this wig in particular wasn't made to be fully glued in the first place. 
Now I'm just showing you the elastic band is safely tucked behind my ears. So it's nice and out of the way for when you cut the cut off the excess lace around your ears. All right, y'all, I ain't gonna hold you too much longer. That's pretty much it for this video. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more gems to be dropped.